Residents living in Champlain Towers North getting new information about the safety concerns surrounding their building. People living in the tower are understandably concerned about the safety of the structure after what happened nearly two weeks ago at their sister building. Engineers are now on site studying the support columns and a lot more. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live with what they've learned so far. And residents of this sister property just a few doors down from that collapse site have expressed their concerns about structural integrity with their condo board association and with the town of Surfside. And today the strongest move yet is being made to address some of those issues. The hard hats and heavy equipment was brought in by engineers and assessment teams today who got right down to work at the Champlain North Tower doing ground penetrating radar, looking at the columns, looking for clues. I believe that the answer is going to be found beneath the ground, beneath the building, and uh, that's going to take a little time to get to. Those clues, say Surfside's mayor, could shed light on exactly why the building's sister property, Champlain South, collapsed suddenly nearly two weeks ago. Both buildings were constructed around the same time with the same materials by the same developer and with similar designs. A third structure, the Champlain East Tower right next door, is about 15 years newer, and photos show damaged concrete and rust in the parking garage area. But a recent letter to residents of both properties says an inspection found no major concern. Still, despite a voluntary evacuation at the north property, we saw numerous condo owners and workers who made the choice to stay. I feel safe. I, I think so. Everything is okay in that building. We tried speaking with multiple residents about their next steps, most declined. And with their building in the shadow of the tragic site, the town is now working overtime to find answers sooner than later. It may be a design issue, and it may affect more than just these two buildings we're looking at right now, the collapsed building and the sister building. But we don't know, but we're going to find out. And so all of the images and data collected from this site visit by engineers still has to be processed and analyzed, but we're told that that could take at least a few more weeks, so there will be no quick answers here. In the meantime, the Surfside mayor says that he is in the process of uh, drafting a letter, disseminating that letter to various oceanfront condo board associations about how to handle a certain structural integrity issues that should go out sometime today or the early part of tomorrow. Reporting live from Surfside, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Terrell, thank you.